Hey guys, this is the video review of Resha Sentai Tokyuja from the Gatai series number 6 and 7. Tank Resha and Car Carrier Resha. They were released on the same day. So, but they were not part of a, a set. They were sold separately. So I figured I'd just review both of them in one shot. So before we start comparing to other trains, let's start with one of them for now. Let's start with Car Carrier. Now, Car Carrier is interesting. Apparently, in the show, which aired last week, these cars are all controlled by the Tokyujers. You see yellow and green on there, and you see pink in there. Fortunately, you can't get those out. They're just there for prop. Also, the blue one is, like, screwed down or something. The only one you can interact with is this. You see, there's the pegs. And the slots. Usually, when a tr when they're cut off from the shadow area, they would have to bring in this resha, this resha, which is train basically, and the dog you just could ride off the ramp and jump right on to the place that's been cut off, just like in the show. But the only the only one that I could mess around with is this. So that's about it. Okay. Now this piece has several different motives. You can also unplug it. As you can see, there's the little hanging piece. And there they are again. The indentations that react with the changer. Okay, you plugged it in just like that. Also, it has the same thing that all the other strings have, which is the pulling out of the piece. And you can just drag it like that. See? Just like that. And you see these parts can also combine with the toy. When actually when this piece is combined with Tokyo All, it replaces the yellow Resha's part and it becomes Tokyo All Car Carrier. So you can see that's basically it. And also this these are crucial for both Diesel O, which is the sixth Tokyo just like robot. And for the for the Cho Tokyo O, which is, means Super Tokyo O. Where it combines all eight of them, which is pretty cool. The way it combines is that you need to turn this piece up, and the way to do it is by I'm gonna switch like that. And you see pegs, you slide down. I'll do a demonstration later, and this plugs into the right side of Tokyo's leg near the feet. There's pegs on the fe on the leg of Tokyo also like that. That's how it works. Com basically, how the pictures show it. You can't do it without doing this though, so it's important that you do that because you're gonna end up breaking it. All right, let's do a little comparison. Compared to the longest train, Red Russia, it's pretty not up to snuff. Okay, but. It's mainly the same size as the arms. So here we have yellow Resha. So as you can see, they're roughly on the same, the same size of the yellow Resha. Okay. All right. So for now, I'm gonna put this guy to the side so I can bring in tank Resha. Tank Russia. Here we go. I think this is supposed to be, um, I, this is probably an ignorant answer, but if I think it's some sort of tanker that carries, carries around energy, because in the episode, they couldn't fight off the, the guys that was pursuing him, so Tank Russia had to, like, use a pipe that came from up here, I think, or somewhere on the top and connected to Red Russia so it would power up. So there you see the same thing, they could split the same indentations for the changer and the same things here. Okay. Also has the little slot on the side that you need to turn it. And as you can see, tags also attaches to the left leg of Tokyo. Also both of these, when you get diesel Russia, they serve as his legs. And when they do that, they form Diesel O. Diesel O is not out yet, but when as soon as it becomes available, I'll review it and you guys can check it out. 
I'm really excited about Chotoku O. It's going to make the figure look much better. All right, size comparison wise, it's the same size as car carrier. So you can see it's really small. But compared to another arm, again, they're perfect. Right on the size of the left and right arm of Tokyo. So that's about it. You split them up, like I said. And combine this with Tokyo All mean makes Tokyo All tank. All right. It's wheels. It's not really much to showcase. These guys are very inexpensive. They came in very small boxes. So it's. I guess the sub sanitai while well, my mouth is dry. Let me drink some water. I guess they I guess they figured they wasted too much money making the cure Yuja toys. I figured they'd cut back on some money to make a more affordable line and this is definitely it. Retailing around fifteen dollars. I mean dollars for us in Japan, so they're not really expensive. So for now, let's bring in Tokyo O. I actually had them a bit separated so I can compare. But you know, if you guys have seen my review, you know these guys are pretty easily combined. So let me just do that real quick. Instead of having to do an unnecessary cut, I might as well just do it like this. If you guys are interested in seeing a detailed detail how these guys transform, I have a video up, so you can definitely check that out. Okay. Here we have them. Let me raise the tripod a bit. Here we have Tokyo O. Or as I was mentioning earlier, you can combine these guys that I just showed with Tokyo O. Alright, here is Tokyo O card. This is card carrier. So for that, we have to remove the right arm. And just put it to the side for now. And then you combine this. Obviously, there's a slot and it connects to this peg here. And there you have it. It's not really in. Tokyo car carrier. It's finishing move. When they want to like defeat the giant battle fight. They simply curve their arm. And bring out the ramp. And I did in the show all five cars are here. So. They were initially just all run down. Like that, and surround the enemy and destroy them. Just like that. The only problem I have is that it looks huge on the arm. As you can see. It makes the other arm look very tiny. I guess we can just do a 360 view. Like I said, unfortunately, the blue one doesn't move. The only one that you can mess with is this, the red one. Alright. I guess that's enough for now. Okay, I'm going to leave this off for a reason. So when we combine Tokyo Tank. Before I do anything like that, I wanted you guys, if you guys don't own any of the Tokyo toys, I wanted to bring in something Bumpaki from last year's Super Sentai. You guys to get a look at that. You see how small it is compared to Bumpaki. You see, literally fits under here. It's very small. All right, to make Tokyo a tank, we need to remove not just one but both arms. Okay, now we split tank apart. The front part goes to his right arm. Just like that. 
and the back piece goes on the left. And there we have them. Tokyo All Tank. Like I said, these, this like extra, like these trains really, their true purpose isn't to mess around, to like, mech, what's the word, mix or combine with this toy. Yeah, it's a nice bonus, but it's mainly used for diesel oil. That's what the pieces are. This is just a way to, we can use them while we wait for diesel, diesel Russia, which comes out this coming month in April. You can check, see. There's also one more combination I wanted to show you guys. It's a combination of both both car carrier and tank. Okay, it's called either Tokyo car carrier tank, or I, I think it's also reverse Tokyo tank car carrier. Either way, it's the same thing. So for now, let's remove these arms and put these guys back together. Just like that. And then we bring in car carrier Russia. So we click that and then the whole piece we click. You can tell here it is. Duck you all car carrier tank. And this does it combine to both of them at the same time and like that it makes we haven't seen that in the show but I've seen pictures of it and that's how it's supposed to look I just think it's a bunch of very long arms that make it awkward to fight but like I said it's not their main purpose the main purpose is to become the legs of diesel oil and like help and helpful for the combination of Joe Tokyo oil. look it's really heavy too having both of them like that, it's a day top over because tank and car carrier are pretty heavy. At least before I can get them, I used to be able to get them to stand like that. But forget it, when you do it like this, there's no way. There's no way. Not happening. See? Yep, see, either way he tilts. So if you want to pose these guys, it'd be, oh, look, I got it. As you can see, it was a pain in the ass just to be able to get it to stand like that. I mean, they're just stalling. Stalling time until the release of Diesel. I've noticed a, a pattern. They always release the toys when they're aligned with the new release on the show. When they make the premiere on the show, they usually sell these items the day before the show airs in Japan. There you go. Shield Russia. Nope, wrong. Shield Russia is another piece that turns into a traffic like signal. I have that. I'll put it on later. So you can see. Keep it down like that. They're such small figures, so I figured I'd just put them in one review. There's no point in going through a second video. So hopefully you guys don't mind that I, I did them together. Alright, so for now, there's one more thing we gotta show you. Tokyo has pegs, slots, with clips. Like, hold on, my mouth keeps getting dry. All right, that's better. Tokyo has slot pegs on each leg. All right, so for the Cho Tokyo combination, you need to fold this like this, flip it upwards, and the pegs need to be tilted downward. Now, obviously, this is for his left leg, so simply align this just like that. Same thing with car carrier. Has a little lever that you pop up, and he has the pegs. You have to flip outward. Same thing on the other side. And there. 
we have part of the Super Tokyo combination. All we're needing is Diesel Resha, which works like you remove the arms and you, it splits in half apparently. Then you connect it to these spots on the train. Then they like become like huge cannons that go like this upward. And then you put the arms on the other side of the pieces. See, these are almost like diesel Russia will probably combine to these pieces and the slide in a slot. And there's another peg right here. And the arms go on the other side like that. And then the cannons will go up. And finally we'll get a different helmet, which looks a bit cooler. So I'm very anxious for the release of Diesel Russia. Okay. I think that's about sums it up, man. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, let's remove these guys. Okay. I mean, considering the prices, they're pretty cool. They're not that expensive, which makes this series a little bit more affordable. The show itself isn't bad. It's picking up. It's starting to show some cool stuff. So hopefully things get better and the toys get better. And as, so, as soon as um, any new Tokyo Ujus toys come out, I'm especially, especially um, looking forward for um, Gabutria Resha. Gabutria Resha from Kyoyuja. I'm really excited for that. And, um, and Diesel, of course. So hopefully... This video was helpful for you guys. Let's get one last look of the toys. As you can see again, yellow car, green car. You can barely see pink, but pink right there. If you don't like the long arm look, you can also split him apart and put him in arm. Let's bring him in one more time. You can just simply do this. It's not an official combination, but if you don't like the fact that it just like one, it looks like one huge arm. There's an other optional thing, but it looks a bit better when you have it, you know, the whole thing. Okay, so and of course there's sounds that are associated with these guys. As long as you have the changer, they both have the slots and everything perfect for it. You can see also they can they can join the line like all the other trains if you want to get out of here little one okay Let's see just like the other trains and you could have them follow each other just the holes in the top too so you can make a huge train line because so far everything everything it can be connected in either way you want. So anyways, that's it for today's review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a pleasure. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or message me on YouTube. And I thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. Thanks again and have a great day.